From the first turn, your structure is crumbling. It is the end of construction as we know it. It is the apocalypse. Construction crews and the complex supply line necessary for building on even a moderate scale are no longer viable. You are the spirit of a building built in the old ways. It is still intact. You want it to remain. You want it to be loved. So you open your doors to the survivors of the apocalypse. They will care for your building, and in return, they will feed. You are not alone in your need for a particular building's survival. Forces will be directed at your chosen edifice in order that their own abode shall be the dominant home for humankind. On the second turn, you draw cards, and your building falls closer to a rubble estate. On a turn, you will choose a location upon which you will focus. You will focus on your building to protect it from others, knowing that the more you do, the more it decays. Survivors are necessary to guard the access points, from zombies, cultists, and gangsters, and to scavenge in the vain hope for renewal. But survivors take twofold, once by leaving your hand, and then by consuming cards you select, your deck, or each other. You will focus on another spirit's building to force the other to be consumed, either by way of the marauders you direct, or by the need to feed the survivors it uses to keep them away. You will focus on a dispirited building to send some of your survivors away to find what was lost. While they are gone, they do not eat from you, and if they return, they bring with them more. All the while, you are dwindling. Your building is crumbling. Should you watch the others fall in the aftermath of the apocalypse, you will have won the end until your cards run out.